Imagine a game world that has infinite detail, whose scale and scope are not limited. A game world more detailed, vast, and varied than our own. A game that features a story that has characters who respond to you and carry out real conversations. A world where the inhabitants are lifelike in their decisions and actions. Where you can follow a civilian in a game like GTA and see their actual life play out. Where game levels are designed and built by artificial intelligence. Where competitive games like Call of Duty and Halo can offer new maps every round or even rebuild old favorites, where enemy AI strategize in single-player games and hunt you their own way, in a way you can't predict or grow accustomed to. Video games have come a long way since their inception, with advancements in graphics and gameplay. Unfortunately, we seem to have reached a standstill in progress for gaming. The degree of technical advancement we used to see in 10 years is leagues more impressive than what we've seen in the last 10 years. Why aren't games continuing to evolve at the rate that they used to. If they were to evolve, where would they go? What does the future hold for the gaming industry? Before we talk about the future of the gaming industry, I'd like to thank Opera GX for making this video possible by sponsoring it. With a gaming industry that's ever evolving, it's important that the future of browsers evolve with it. Opera GX is the browser designed for gamers. Many browsers these days are resource hogs, and on a machine that doesn't have a ridiculous amount of RAM, you'll find it difficult to play games while your browser is open. But with GX Control, your machine's performance is enhanced, allowing you to game while listening to music, or even while keeping a bunch of tabs open that you don't want to lose. You can also prioritize bandwidth for your game by limiting the browser's usage. Other browsers lack customization options. Opera GX lets you customize your browser with special themes, wallpapers, and colors. Plus, GX keeps you up to date with free games, the best deals, and breaking game news all in one place with GX Corner. Additionally, you guys have access to an exclusive feature here where you'll be able to see my 12 latest videos. There are honestly too many features to squeeze into this segment naturally, but I encourage you to try it out for yourself, especially because it's free. Like me, you'll notice the difference in performance. Join the millions of gamers optimizing their setup with the Opera GX browser. Throw resource-hungry browsers away and click with confidence with Opera GX. Download it today by using the link in my description or the pinned comment. AI has the potential to revolutionize the industry. From enhancing game development to bringing unimaginable levels of realism to the gaming experience, the possibilities are literally endless. AI to our current gaming landscape is what 3D games are to 2D games. AI can be seen as the next step in the evolution of video games, much like how 3D games represented a significant step forward from 2D games. 3D games introduced a new level of depth, realism, and immersion to the gaming experience, allowing players to explore virtual environments in a way that wasn't possible before. In the same way, AI has the potential to bring new levels of realism and immersion to video games, creating dynamic and interactive environments that can adapt to the player's actions. But how close are we to this threshold? We may already be closer than you think. AI offers limitless possibilities when it comes to content creation in video games. But it doesn't stop there. It also reduces the time and resources needed to create large, intricate content. AI helps by automating and streamlining various development tasks. It can be used to create various game design tools, many of which we'll cover. These tools that we're exploring can create new content faster and more efficiently than any human ever could. By leveraging the power of AI, game developers can create better and more innovative games in a more efficient and effective manner, as AI frees up the development developers' time and resources for more important tasks. With the power of machine learning, video games can now generate dynamic and diverse worlds that were once impossible to create. Entire game worlds can be created by AI, but this isn't the same as procedural generation like you'd see in a game like Minecraft. Procedural generation refers to the creation of game content through algorithms rather than manual design, resulting in diverse and unique yet predictable outcomes determined by a set of rules and parameters. AI-generated game content is different 
different. It's produced out of data sets that a machine has learned and can make its own decisions from. The AI is not bound by the same kinds of rules and restrictions. Instead, it's simply bound by the best decision making available to it, based on what it knows. Procedural generation is like color by number, while AI is like freehand. This difference is important because it isn't the same as starting a new world in Minecraft. There is purpose behind everything. The game world can adapt in the moment to player actions. Production would no longer be limited by the developer count and deadlines. Instead, an AI could create entire worlds from scratch without sacrificing detail. Every inch of the world would be packed with the same amount of content all throughout. Things that were previously thought to be impossible would now be as easy as typing a prompt and clicking go. In the first episode of this series, we talked about fully enterable buildings in gaming. The idea is possible, but AI could make it even easier. In a theoretical system where an AI builds a city, the initial result could be surface level. There's no need to fill a building that you haven't yet entered. As the player explores these areas, the AI can draw the environments live as you approach them. Alternatively, the AI could create the bulk of of the map and the developer could curate the entire game before it ships. AI can even generate building structures by mimicking architectural design. This AI could consider factors like space utilization, aesthetic appeal, and player accessibility. The end result would be a seemingly endless number of buildings and structures that are both functional and visually appealing. Once buildings are generated, AI can then add the finer details like objects, lights, textures, and more. For example, a bedroom would have a different layout and objects than a kitchen would. With details like this, both at a large scale and a small scale, players will be able to explore every nook and cranny of buildings they enter. This level of detail will allow players to truly feel like they're exploring a real place. In a game like Grand Theft Auto, the task of creating a believable city falls on the shoulders of developers. To bring their vision to life, they need to meticulously scout, study, and plan every aspect aspect of the city. However, with an advanced AI, the process of creating a realistic cityscape would be easier. An AI system has the ability to store and analyze vast amounts of information, making it far more knowledgeable than an entire team of developers. With this advanced knowledge, the AI can accurately and realistically implement various aspects of a city, such as parking zones with garages and lots, efficient transportation systems like bus routes and stations, and even subways. AI could generate and playtest competitive styled maps for games like Halo and introduce them as new maps for every match. Community favorites would rise to the top, but players could still explore and try out generated ones at their whim. It's like Halo Infinite's Forge mode, but the designs aren't limited by the Forge pieces, textures, and budget. In fact, they aren't limited at all. In the future, an AI could analyze all of the older maps from the GTA series. It could then be prompted to recreate these cities in a seamless, cohesive, shared world. It could fill in the blanks and even increase the size of these maps, all while still staying true to the original concepts, art style, and layouts. It could likely even create thousands of comedic brands, commercials, ads, and media to fill the new space with, in keeping with Rockstar tradition. Whether this is something that should be done or not is a deeper question, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. By analyzing real-world terrain data and using it to generate game worlds, AI can produce more natural landscapes for video games. Vegetation would be more naturally grown and placed as it isn't based on the developer's eye. It's a data set based on real world vegetation. Things wouldn't look like an obvious video game with the same vine models or flower clusters plastered in predictable spots. It would instead look real and true to life. Potentially, the most significant feature that AI can offer to players in the form of world creation is real-time environment adaptation. The AI can study the actions of the player and make changes to the world around him, creating a reactive and dynamic world. Where in the past, game developers had to create every building and environment manually, the AI can generate these things effortlessly. This means players can play in maps at a massive scale limited only by the hard drive storing them. Every single one of these factors can be altered and customized to meet specific design goals and requirements. The developer does not lose his hand in the direction and ultimate outcome. In fact, the developer is enabled to do more than what he originally could. By leveraging AI, game developers can bring new levels of creativity and innovation to their worlds and deliver gaming experiences that are truly unparalleled.
When a game world is filled with objects, developers have to create every single item on the screen. Assets like this are likely reused throughout projects, and with developer time at stake, there's a limit to what can be created within the development period. An AI could create thousands of models for any situation without limit. You wouldn't notice the same objects all throughout a game world. Every area you visit could feel brand new rather than recycled. This would revolutionize the way 3D objects and scenes are modeled in video games. Currently, some AI can create 3D point clouds from images, and even AI-generated images can be used to generate these 3D point clouds. In the future, the ideal scenario would have developers typing in a detailed prompt Something like various types of cups with different colors and no branding. And the AI would give the developer the usable models he requested. In a more advanced scenario, the developer could describe the desired scene to the computer and the words detailed skyscraper would return a complex conglomeration of models and assets that make up an entire building with rooms filled with objects. NVIDIA and other companies are already working on this type of tool. NVIDIA Get 3D says, trained using only 2D images, NVIDIA NVIDIA Get 3D generates 3D shapes with high fidelity textures and complex geometric details. These 3D objects are created in the same format used by popular graphics software applications, allowing users to immediately import their shapes into 3D renderers and game engines for further editing. Get 3D can generate a virtually unlimited number of 3D shapes based on the data it's trained on. Like an artist who turns a lump of clay into a detailed sculpture, the model transforms numbers into complex 3D shapes. If AI AI is already capable of doing this, imagine what the future holds. Many games with big aspirations have to find realistic ways to make those goals a reality. Beyond Good and Evil 2 even asked the community to help produce content and textures to fill their game world because the scope of the project was too big for their team. In No Man's Sky, it's procedural generation. The only way to fill a universe with planets and life forms is to feed the system a set amount of combinable and swappable components for each aspect of the experience. For instance, every animal is made up of multiple parts that are interchangeable. The computer randomizes these, creating the illusion of uniqueness. The utilization of procedural generation is already granting developers the ability to create things that aren't possible. Artificial intelligence has the potential to do this to a nearly limitless degree. AI can control game environments through the weather and lighting. It can adapt to the needs of the player or to the needs of the developer. Storms could shake the environment, blowing objects over. Snow could cover the landscape without the developers having to retexture the entire space from scratch. When generating landscapes, the AI could take into account time, weather patterns, water flow, erosion, and more, leading to more realistic landscapes. The datasets the AI is using to create these formations would be based on the real world, the perfect model to follow when trying to mimic it. AI can simulate dilapidation and damage. In most situations, a game developer is forced to place cracked glass textures or overgrown foliage models in random spots to make scenes look weathered and aged. One day, games won't have to clumsily replicate authentic weathering. Instead, an AI will simulate natural weathering. In this scene from The Last of Us, water is pooling in this corner because the building is tilted. AI could have considered how several years of this type of wear and tear could have affected this section of the building. Perhaps mold streaks would be more prominent on the route the water flowed from the window, and complete deterioration would consume the areas it would puddle, causing it to leak down through holes into the floor below. Rust would be more apparent in areas nearest moisture. Details like this, though seemingly excessive, heighten the realism of your environment. Gone the days will be of monotonous, repetitive, and uninspired virtual environments. In its place, we'll have a more immersive and authentic experience. The incorporation of intricate details like these brings a sense of authenticity to these virtual translations, almost as if they were real-world replicas captured through 3D scanning technology. One may assume that with the abundance of generated content, AI could produce overly complex and inefficient creations. However, it is also important to note that AI is trained to avoid these outcomes and produce only optimized results. This could even be done now, with the content game developers are producing manually. The computer could condense and consolidate unnecessary content, resulting in improved game file sizes, loading speeds, overall performance, and more. AI can be trained to identify 
identify patterns in game data and compress it more effectively than traditional compression techniques. The textures could be analyzed to determine which ones can be reduced in size without sacrificing visual quality, directly impacting memory usage and improving performance. 3D models could be simplified by reducing their poly count, or even just simply removed without impacting the overall look and feel of the game. AI could adjust load balancing on the fly by dynamically distributing resources and allocating processing power to different parts of the game based on real-time performance requirements and situations. Although currently these systems are in their early stages, they have the potential to significantly improve the performance, efficiency, and player experience. When playing a game, you could have the biggest and best world ever made, but if it's not filled with the right NPCs, it'll always feel empty and hollow. It will feel incomplete. AI can breathe life into a game world. Our current model for NPCs is lacking. In a game like GTA, NPCs lack depth. They can react somewhat believably to certain actions, but not realistically to every action. You are dead meat! I want to apologize. They can't hold conversations. They don't even have a real presence in the world because they're brought in simply to occupy space. They don't have a home. They don't have a family. They're only going to exist as long as you're near them. Sometimes they don't even exist that long after you've killed them. But now, imagine if AI were in control of that NPC. You could follow them and see that they actually have places to go. They may even be wise to the fact that they're being followed. When confronted by them, you could communicate with them and have a real conversation. Developers wouldn't have to spend time faking a population. AI could produce a real one. AI would entirely change the atmosphere in every element of gameplay. In a game like GTA, every driving NPC would be controlled by a complex AI. It would be able to simulate traffic with intricate attention to detail. The drivers you share the road with wouldn't feel like they're following node paths and driving set speeds. They would slow down and speed up, regulating the speed and flow of traffic imperfectly, just as if it were real humans behind the wheel. The system could problem solve routes when off the beaten path. Dynamic traffic patterns adapt to the player as he injects himself into the scenario. While the AI would still cause the NPCs to change lanes, make turns, and obey traffic signals, each of these actions would be carried out as if it were real. The system could even take into account reaction time, or whether the driver has visibility from the driver's seat. The NPC drivers would realistically react to the player's actions. For example, the AI can even simulate car accidents, making the traffic system much more unpredictable. Predictable. The system would also carry real weight to an accident, as the ramifications of a crash could cause a disastrous AI simulated pileup. This is where AI shines the most and how it would deal with traffic. By allowing the machine to react to players' actions in real time, the player will feel his actions have consequences. If the player causes a car accident, other drivers on the road would respond accordingly, either by avoiding the accident or by getting involved. This isn't possible without AI, and it greatly enhances the driving experience. No longer will we have to deal with broken NPCs suddenly switching into your lane and crashing you unless you're driving near a Prius. When communicating with NPCs, a microphone could be used to listen to your voice and pick up on the details like your inflection and attitude. It could react accordingly to you sounding angry or happy. This would allow you to interact with the characters in game with your voice, making gameplay more intuitive. The enemy characters in a game would benefit greatly from being controlled by an artificial intelligence. Later in the video, we'll talk in depth about how these systems could affect the gameplay, but a great example of enemy AI would be one similar to the invincible roaming enemies in the Resident Evil series, or the alien in Alien Isolation. Imagine an enemy that was truly unpredictable, an enemy that actually thought for itself, one that was truly hunting you. It would notice objects that you moved. It could truly investigate your presence. Currently, in Resident Evil and Alien, the enemies can be cracked. You can figure out their general behavior and limitations, but with AI, 
nothing would be predictable. The only thing that you could be sure of is that it's coming for you. Games could feature companion characters that you could grow attached to because of their natural interaction. Even our current technologies with NPCs in games like the original Mass Effect trilogy, Last of Us, and The Walking Dead can offer characters worth caring about. The AI can analyze player emotions by evaluating their decisions or facial reactions with peripherals. It can then use this information to create emotional responses and interactions within the game. This allows players to form emotional connections with the characters. These characters can react to you and talk to you personally, as a voice AI could deliver the lines fed by the character AI. It would be as if you were talking to a real person. AI algorithms can be used to create rich and dynamic game worlds with complex and intricate storylines that can engage and captivate players. AI can fill worlds with immersive storylines that draw players in and keep them engaged. It does this by generating narrative content. This means that the game's world and content are generated algorithmically rather than being handcrafted by a game developer. AI can be used to generate unique quests, events, and other game content that provides players with a unique experience each time they play the game. In an open world game, the AI system generates side missions for the player to complete. Similarly to how games like Hitman 3 include the freelancer game mode, randomly generated missions and quests could be done by an AI. However, where Hitman only alters the targets in a select few variables, an AI could alter the entire game world and experience. The missions could be randomly generated with different objectives, rewards, and difficulties levels. The system could also generate missions that are tailored to the player's progress, such as missions that become more difficult as the player progresses in the game. In a role-playing game, the AI system could generate a quest for the player to retrieve a lost artifact from a dangerous dungeon. To prove this concept, everything you see in the following demonstration was generated by AI, the textures and the conversation. The only human influence here was me talking to the robot and putting it together in an animated modeled scene. Your quest, Brave Adventure, is to recover the legendary Sword of Light. This powerful weapon is said to possess the ability to vanquish all evil and restore peace to the land. However, it has been stolen by the Dark Lord and his minions and is now hidden deep within his lair. Your journey will take you across treacherous terrain and past numerous dangerous creatures. But the reward for your bravery will be the sword of light and the gratitude of the people. Good luck, hero. Of course, for your bravery in undertaking this perilous quest, the people of the land have pledged a large sum of gold and treasures as a reward. Use it wisely, and may it aid you in your journey to retrieve the sword of light. The Sword of Light is an ancient artifact of immense power and significance. It is said to have been created by the gods themselves and imbued with the ability to vanquish all evil and bring peace to the land. Many have sought its power over the centuries, but only the bravest and most worthy of heroes have been able to wield it successfully. Retrieving the Sword of Light is no small feat, but the rewards for success are great, and the gratitude of the people will be everlasting. Excellent! You have proven yourself to be a true hero, willing to undertake this dangerous quest for the greater good. May fortune smile upon you and your journey be swift. The fate of the land rests in your hands, so be vigilant and always remember your ultimate goal, to retrieve the Sword of Light and bring peace to the land. The AI could keep track of everything that occurs in the game world, including completed quests and active quests. This means if you don't return with the Sword of Light within the quest's time frame, the town will remember that, or the AI could create ramifications for your negligence. AI can also improve storytelling in video games by creating more dynamic and personalized storylines. AI algorithms can analyze player behavior and preferences and use this information to generate unique storylines that are tailored to the player players' interests. Similar to Mass Effect's story mode, AI can also be used to create branching storylines where the player's choices and actions have a direct impact on the story's outcome. But where do these stories take place? 
These narratives need a fitting location to play out within. If the Sword of Light in the previous example was located in a dungeon, the AI could then create said dungeon and the challenges in it. This isn't limited to various procedurally generated dungeon layouts, rather the possibilities are literally endless. In Modern Warfare 2019, the mission Clean House has you infiltrate a residence to find and eliminate a hostile threat. Throughout the mission, you clear rooms while having to identify each person as either hostile or civilian. You slowly make your way throughout the property until you've cleared it of enemies. An AI could be used to create a game where you and a team of other players are put in scenarios like this, where both the level design and narrative guidance work hand in hand. If you choose to use a strategy like shutting off the power to the building, the AI could incorporate that decision into the narrative. The system could create twists and unexpected scenarios that you would have to solve in the moment. These twists could cause the AI to generate brand new level content on the fly, but from the player's perspective, it would look as if nothing had occurred behind the scenes. Allowing an AI to have complete control over the narrative, the NPCs, and the setting gives the computer the ability to provide a complete experience. Games with NPCs suffer from repetition. You'll constantly notice the same character models over and over again. If you've played a game like San Andreas, I'm sure you can even picture several specific pedestrians from memory. With a game world populated and built by artificial intelligence, no two building layouts would be the same and no two characters would look identical. But character improvement doesn't stop there. Facial recognition could help an AI automate the character customization process. By feeding the AI a few photos or a multi-angled video of a face, an AI could create a true-to-form character based on the source material. This would greatly reduce the user's effort of painstakingly recreating themselves in the game menus, removing hours of frustrating fine-tuning, getting you into the game faster, both literally and figuratively. When the worlds, levels, NPCs, and stories are shaped by an artificial intelligence that's listening and considering your inputs in every decision it makes, the outcome is unmatched. You're given a game world that listens to you. Decisions you make affect what happens next. When you've finished one quest, stop at a local bar and ask for another. Explore villages and get to know the people. When you return, they won't be gone or replaced by new NPCs. They'll still be there, and they'll remember you. Stories evolve with you. Games that would typically be repetitive would now feel new every time you played. When you've beaten Spider-Man on PlayStation, you're left with a crime-ridden city. You have the same few missions randomly set throughout the city. You fight the same mini-missions over and over. The narrative is lost. The reason to keep playing is gone. You're in a ghost town. With AI, the story never ends. The adventure never stops. The missions never repeat. AI-controlled narratives have the potential to offer a virtually unlimited amount of replayability, as no two sessions will be exactly alike and the story will never end. In 2021, ISL and collaborators uploaded footage that explained their process for using AI to make Grand Theft Auto V appear more realistic. Their system was trained using a dataset of dashcam footage and images. It took GTA footage and overlaid its own version of a realistic scene. AI can be used to generate high-quality graphics and animations, including realistic environments, characters, indefinite perceived detail, special effects, and more. An example of AI's impact on graphics can be seen in the way it eliminates the need for noticeable textures, displacement, and bump mapping. In traditional graphics, a character approaching a wall with a sniper scope may be able to see the individual pixels composing the texture. However, with AI, the detail is generated in real time, creating an indefinitely more detailed wall. Everything on screen would be viewed through photorealistic rendering by a system trained from the real world. In the same way a deepfake replaces the incorrect face with the correct one, a machine could replace outdated graphics with realistic graphics. To explain this idea, a developer could model a simple textureless block and give it a code reference number that the AI can read. When the player looks at this referenced untextured block, the AI could match the reference code with the prompt building by following a key guide. It would then overlay the illusion of a building texture in real time. An animation team may struggle to create and anticipate every possible movement a player can make in a virtual game world. 
In instances where the player performs an unexpected action, the game may activate a ragdoll simulation to maintain a realistic outcome. However, in some cases, the game may not adjust to these unforeseen events, resulting in awkward floating and sliding animations. But when character movement is AI controlled, rather than animation controlled, possibilities are unlocked. An AI system NVIDIA revealed nearly a year ago showcases AI-driven physics-based character animation. Their character is AI-controlled, yet bound by physics. It studied and learned human motion data in a virtualized 10-year training process. Using NVIDIA technology, this only actually took three days in the real world. The result is a character that reacts realistically to unforeseen events, like objects colliding with him. Rather than simply falling over like a like ragdoll, the character catches his balance and recollects himself. Strategy games could offer the player squads to control that naturally traverse the various landscapes stumbling over bricks, rubble, and debris. Stealing a car in GTA would be physics bound, rather than rigidly animation controlled. When getting shot at while stealing a car, the AI could increase the urgency of the process while ducking and reacting to the shots. Games like Spider-Man could take advantage of these natural animation features, so that when Spider-Man lands awkwardly in a spot that the animation team didn't account for, the character could naturally overcome the improper collision and regain his composure. This promotes immersion in gaming, because nothing takes you out of the moment faster than a strange animation mishap. Have you ever heard the same line or phrase in a game get repeated over and over? I used to play this adventure, I used to play this adventure, then I took an arrow in the knee, then I took an arrow in the knee. This repetition can not only be distracting, but also frustrating for players. AI can help solve this issue by ensuring that every voice is unique and that lines are never repeated unless they are common phrases. The screams, bangs, and eerie ambience on the ship in Dead Space won't have loops. It won't sound repetitive. This builds on the horror and leans into and creates a much more unsettling atmosphere to endure. When developers pay attention to even the smallest of details, games can truly stand out. For example, in GTA 4 when making a phone call to emergency services, the character Nico will mention the name of the street that he's on, and if he's lost, he'll say that too. Imagine a game where every detail is like this, where character's dialogue is constantly adjusting to what the player is doing, and they even remember past events. This level of immersion would create a seamless blend of reality and fiction, unlike anything we've seen before. An AI could be asked to control audio to a much more dynamic degree. Rather than simply adjusting volume sliders, a player could request a specific action take place that's much more nuanced than simply adjusting the volume of a specific layer of audio. A YouTuber or streamer, for example, could request that all copyrighted music be replaced with music that is monetization friendly. A player that has difficulty hearing specific ranges of sound could inform the AI of that and it could adjust appropriately. AI algorithms could be used to generate realistic and dynamic audio environments such as realistic weather sounds, animal noises, and ambient music based on the in-game environment and the player's actions. It could simulate realistic echo based entirely on the surroundings in the game world. According to EA, the Dead Space Intensity Director dynamically adjusts what shows up in Isaac's path, from necromorph spawns and how they choose to attack, to environmental effects such as light, smoke, particles, and sound. Studios are already taking advantage of these types of technologies, and they've been doing so for a while. Left 4 Dead 2 had a system called the Director, which worked similarly. Instead of set spawns for enemies, the Director placed enemies in varying positions and numbers based on the player's current situation, status, skill, and location, creating a new experience for each playthrough. The Director also creates mood and tension with emotional cues such as visual effects, dynamic music, and character communication. The director is responsible for spawning additional health, ammo, weapons, and special infected like the witch or the tank. In the future, AI could be used the same way, but with more complexity. By making each situation personalized, every playthrough will feel different from the last. In a game like Halo, you can predict spawn points and more, but imagine if the menu had an option to activate a director that made each level unpredictable and unique. If the AI recognizes that you're lost and wandering aimlessly, it can direct you with visual and audio cues, ensuring your playthrough isn't lagging behind. 
Most excitingly, with a complicated AI behind the scenes, enemies will be more enjoyable to fight. No longer will players face predictable, scripted enemies. Instead, they'll face opponents that can think, strategize, and make their own decisions, creating a fully dynamic gaming experience. You won't be able to hide behind an indestructible wall while enemies outside shoot at that wall endlessly while shifting side to side, repeating the same lines over and over. AI can be used to understand and map 3D space. A system that's learned how human-built 3D environments are shaped and how they function can map out the real world with compatible 3D augmented environments. This would open endless possibilities. For instance, an empty warehouse could be transformed into a battlefield where players wearing goggles and holding styrofoam guns could verse each other. And this could take place in any real world environment without the need for human mapping. The AI could warn against potential hazards and even refuse to allow a game to take place on a street. AI could be used to provide real-time language translation for both multiplayer and single-player games. Technology like this has been used in film already, where faces are rebuilt, speaking completely different languages while still preserving the original performance. Single-player games could be transformed into any language, so anyone could have access to great games. AI could translate these games in a fraction of the time dedicated teams could, all while maintaining natural facial animations. Companies have incentive to focus on something like this, because more languages means larger reach and higher sales. Imagine a future where zero latency games can take place across the world, while players can interact with one another in their own language while seeing theirs spoken back to them. A future where no one is gatekept from gaming. Any game will be available in your language. No one misses out on anything. Many games these days are released in unfinished states, and at times, even unplayable states. Just look at the Definitive Trilogy or Cyberpunk. AI could be used to automate game testing, increasing quality assurance and reducing the risk of bugs and other common issues. It could do in 5 seconds what 100 human play testers would have been able to complete in 8 hours. It could also produce more efficient and better detailed reports of the issues, citing footage of the issues in action. With the thoroughness that only a machine can offer, it would likely do a better job at finding prominent issues. It could even create checklists about replayability and enjoyability while playing. This is something that the Callisto protocol would have benefited from greatly. An AI could have reported that the gameplay elements were lackluster. Perhaps it would note that 35% of the playthrough is animation-based movement where the player is holding forward on the thumbstick, and nobody likes that. It would likely also mention that the other 65% of the game is awful dodging gameplay that no human being in their right mind would ever find enjoyable. Nvidia is already working on technologies like this, as they're seemingly making AI one of their biggest priorities moving forward. The soonest we may see AI integrated into our games would likely be in the actual games themselves, on the back end. Developers are already using image-based AI tools to upscale older game textures. It's not hard to believe that AI could soon become very common in asset creation and optimization when developers are building newer games. But what about games that would have an AI working live during gameplay? Currently, the most practical way to compute an AI's response in real time is through powerful computers that the average consumer does not have at home. However, just like we don't store a massive machine that logs the entire internet or a vast YouTube storage field with all the videos in our basement, we do have access to these technologies through devices that fit in our pockets. AI is likely to be first integrated into our games through server applications. The main challenge with this approach is that while it's technically possible, the game's functionality is completely dependent on servers that may have downtime or be shut down after a decade of use as technology improves and the servers become obsolete. Additionally, a game that relies on server-based AI computation may require a subscription fee to keep the systems running. But can we find ways to overcome these challenges? In the future, it's possible that our computers and gaming consoles will have enough computing power to handle AI processing. Similar to how a graphics card is required to play most video games today, an AI card may be integrated into the system for handling all AI-related computation. As we inch closer to this becoming a reality, we may start to see innovations like the Super Nintendo Enhancement Ship ship with more advanced games like GTA 7, which will likely release sometime around 3049. 
The Super Nintendo Enhancement Chips were a series of integrated circuits that were added to certain SNES games to enhance the graphics and audio capabilities of the system. These chips were developed by third-party companies and were included in cartridge form along with the game software. The first Super FX chip was released in 1991 and it was used in games like Star Fox and Dirt Racer. This chip allowed for 3D polygon graphics and advanced physics simulation which was a significant leap forward for the time. Other enhancement chips soon followed such as the SA-1 and the DSP chips, which added additional capabilities to the SNES and allowed for even more sophisticated games. Some examples of games that utilized the enhancement chips include Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Stars, Kirby's Dream Land 3, and Super Mario Kart. These chips helped extend the life of the SNES and allowed the developers to create more advanced games than what would have been possible otherwise. As technology evolves, we may one day see games sold similarly to this again, that include AI enhancement modules. In the future, if games utilize server-based AI capabilities, it's possible that users or developers could use computation farming to provide the necessary computing power. Similar to cryptocurrency mining, these computation farmers would use their hardware to perform complex computations for the AI systems. In exchange for their computational resources, the farmers could be compensated with payment from various sources. One potential source of payment could be from the members who subscribe to the game. Just as some current games require a monthly fee for continued access, a game with advanced AI capabilities may require a higher subscription fee to cover the cost of computation. Another possibility is that game companies like EA or other major players in the gaming industry could directly compensate computation farmers for their services. Individuals could set up computation farms by investing in powerful computer hardware specifically designed for AI computation. This could involve buying specialized AI processing units or GPUs and setting up multiple machines in a single location to maximize computational power. Whatever way we choose to do it, AI gaming is possible, and it may be coming soon. The use of AI in video games and video game development is a complex issue that raises many questions about the morality of the technology. On one hand, the benefits of AI in gaming are clear, they're unmatched. However, the use of AI in video games also raises serious ethical concerns. A few examples would be the potential for AI to perpetuate harmful biases and stereotypes. If an AI system is trained on biased data, it may produce results that are biased itself. On a darker note, who is to blame when the AI produces something disturbing, something wrong? Things like this could have serious consequences for players, particularly children and young people who are exposed to these results. With AI being prominent in game development, humans can become obsolete. The impact AI could have on employment in the industry is devastating. Quality control could be an issue that gets out of hand if handled improperly. Because of AI's vast capabilities, developers wouldn't be able to look at every single generated work an AI produces, meaning many issues could slip through the cracks. The biggest concern is the impact of AI on the creativity and originality of video games. While AI can certainly be used to automate and streamline game development, it can also be used to create content that lacks the imagination and originality that we love about video games in the first place. AI-generated characters and environments may lack the depth and nuance that comes from human creativity. Who really creates the works an AI produces? When an AI produces art, whose art is it referencing and mimicking? Where does the line between copying and inspiration exist? The question of whether AI should be used in video games is a complex one that requires a thoughtful and nuanced consideration of the benefits and the risks of the technology. While AI has the potential to revolutionize the gaming industry and bring new levels of interactivity and realism to the experience, it also raises serious ethical concerns that have to be addressed. In the end, it'll be up to developers, game companies, and consumers to decide whether the benefits of AI in gaming outweigh the risks, and whether AI is the right direction for the future of video games. The future of video games with AI is truly exciting. With its ability to learn, adapt, and bring new levels of realism to the gaming experience, it's clear that AI is set to revolutionize the industry. We've witnessed numerous advancements in the gaming world over the past few decades, and now, we're embarking on a new era. 
the potential for innovation is limitless as long as the human element remains the driving force behind it. As we embrace the future of video games with AI, let's not forget the power of human imagination and emotion. The magic of video games have always been in their ability to transport us to new worlds, to make us laugh and cry, to let us explore, to give us superpowers, to give us a chance to be a part of something bigger than ourselves. The integration of AI adds a new layer of realism to these experiences, but it's up to us as players and creators to ensure that the humanity and the heart at the core of gaming is never lost. This technology should only be used to unlock our limits, to bring new depth and meaning to our virtual journeys, to enhance the human stories, to create experiences that'll touch the hearts of players for generations to come. After all, what's more human than that? The difference between 1982 and 1987 is technology has taken a substantial leap in our favor. I find the possibilities here fascinating, um, both scary and interesting. We are at the iPhone moment of AI. But the big point is I, I see a bright future for the future of computing and its implications on games. I really see the ability for us as game developers to exploit another thousand-fold increase in computing power in future generations of platforms. The opportunity is there, and I think our, our industry's brightest days are yet to come. Always, always be unfrickin' believable. Because you are.